Hi, I'm Nolan Haynes, and I want to give you a quick tip on one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for PowerPoint, and that is Command D on the Mac or Control D on the PC. And what that does, very simply, is it duplicates whatever you have selected. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, I love my Command C, my Command V. It's too many clicks. It's too many trips to the keyboard. Simply going once and doing Command D will duplicate whatever you need to and make a copy of it. Let me show it to you in action. If I have my little icon here, right, and I want to make a, a big row of them, let's say, for example, I want to duplicate this over and over. All I have to do is do Command D. It makes a copy. But again, if I want to make a row, and this is so cool, I can just pull it out over here, put it in line, right? And then I can hit Command D again and again and again and again and again. And PowerPoint, believe it or not, is smart enough to know that I want to make a whole row of these. But I can keep doing it again. Let's say I want to do, I'm sort of making a manual chart here. Let's say I want to uh, do it for west, northwest, and south here. I can do Command D again with the whole row, move those down, and then again and again, right? So now I've got all my little uh, little icons here and I can go in and now uh, manually delete some of these that I, I don't need. And I've just made a huge bunch of little icons all with, in just a few seconds, with one key command. But it gets even better because you can use Command D on slides as well, not just what's on the slide. And this results in me using Command Z or Control Z very, very rarely, right? It's not that I don't make mistakes, right? We love undo, right? We love Command Z, undo. But I rarely use that because it's not, again, not that I don't make mistakes, but if I'm going to try something with a slide or try to work on the design, the first thing I'm going to do is do Command D. You can see it over there, uh, over here. Command D just duplicates that slide, and this works in slide sorter as well. And then I can go in and try out my... Uh, try out my um, new design or redesign or whatever I was going to try to do. Maybe I'll make these all different colors and uh, try that. Maybe that'll make this uh, a little better. Maybe I can uh, do this and then maybe I decide, oh, well, why don't I put in Comic Sans over here? That would be fun. And then I look at what I've done and realize that's eh, not very good. It's What I had was much better. So instead of doing Command Z, Command Z, Command Z to take away all my mistakes, all I need to do is delete delete what I didn't have. But if I liked it, then I simply delete the original slide, and there it is. Slides are free. There's no reason not to do this kind of thing. So Command-D is the tool, is the key command that I'm using every single day, all the time, in lots of situations. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.